Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we left off last time, we finished up Kashyyyk, but before we depart the planet, I want to catch up with our teammates, so let's talk to Juhani here. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, some more about your past. Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. Please do. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Okay. And your people were in that region? Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. Ah. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world. Slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. Yeah, I don't really care for their sense of honor either. They swooped down from space across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. Uh, yeah, why didn't the Republic help you? Or the Jedi? Well, we'll start... Mm. Both entities should have helped. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. Mm. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. Um, yeah, we'll agree with her. This is an atrocity. My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, made everyday life unnecessarily hard. Yeah, Taris is not a nice place to raise a child. No, it is not. But they had little choice. Each of us dealt with it in our own way. My father, my father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Yeah, we'll keep... I don't want to press her too much if she doesn't want to talk about it. It is tragic. I don't need your sarcasm or your pity. I'm trying to be nice. He died at the hands of another. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry. I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. Okay. Fair enough. Our conversation is Juhani. They're generally not that pleasant, huh? She's had a rough life, though. All right, Karth, you're up. Yes, what's on your mind? You seem like you're far away. Is something wrong? Oh, it's it's nothing. Sorry. <laughs> I won't have you moping. That doesn't seem like nothing. I told you my wife died four years ago. I, I, I've just been trying to remember what she looked like. It shouldn't be so difficult. I, I can remember things about her, things she did, the way she smiled, what her hair smelled like. <laughs> Our last fight, just not her face. I try and hold it in my head, but it, it, it's gone. It, I know, is that strange? Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this. No, it's all right. You remember the important things. But I should be able to remember her face. It's it, it's frustrating. I, I feel like I'm losing her. You don't have I, any uh, pictures? It must look really strange for me to be obsessing like this still. You, you must think I'm incredibly stupid. No, not really. But... I doubt your wife would want you to do this to yourself. Well, I, I suppose you're probably right, but I have to do it anyway. I can The only thing that. that's kept me going since she died has been the need to find Saul and kill him. It's better to think about that than anything else. If I can do that, then maybe I can let her go. 
can't let it all go. If we encounter Saul, if we ever have the, the chance, promise me that I'll be the one to kill him. I, I have to settle this. I need to. If we get the opportunity, then I promise. I, I don't care about all the, oh, that won't help anything. No, I think it'll, it'll give him some kind of closure, so, yep. Thank you. I, uh, I guess there's really nothing else to say. All right. Bestula? How can I help? Huh. Then I suggest we move on. Nothing from you. Okay. Let's move on, then. So, what have we got? We have Yavin. We've not been to Yavin. And we've not been to Korobin either. But we need to... Where is Griff? I don't remember now. Is he on Dantooine or is he on Tatooine? Well, there's stuff we gotta do on either planet. Um... Where did we run into him? I wanna say he was on Tat... Because didn't we find Lena on Dantooine and then he was on Tatooine? Yeah, because he was trapped by the Jawas. Let's go there. Ah, there we go. Uh oh, what's this? What happened? What's going on? Yeah, I want to know too. Sith interdictor ship. What? They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor. Well, here's your chance then, Karth. There we go. Admiral Karath taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Karath's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. This is your chance to avenge your family. That is not the way of the Jedi. I don't care. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm well, not Karth's not a Jedi, so it doesn't matter. I'm throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. Well, let's make I'll one. I'll admit it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Karath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Okay... So who's gonna save us? I feel like Mission could be a good choice. She could use the, um, the stealth belt and just sneak past everything. But... I did promise Karth a chance at Saul. She's got this battle meditation. Mm. Or I could just do it. I am a Jedi. I've got stasis. Let's... All right, this might be a terrible plan, but I'm going to do it. The Admiral will be watching the three of us okay, far too closely won't. for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. All right, well, then. Well, if we're going to pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're going to have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Yeah, I think probably mission. Juhani does have force powers, that's a point. <laughs> this sounds like a job for a Wookiee. Maybe, he is pretty tough. I think I think mission's gonna be the Maybe way to I go. can goad the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough, they might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. My plan was more that you would hide and not get captured in the first place. It's too dangerous. It's a risk we have to take, Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry. I can pull this off. Yeah, if you make them mad, they might just decide to kill you. This isn't... I don't like this plan. The decision is yours. You're in charge. But I know I can do this if you give me a chance. 
Mm. Maybe HK. You know, he's an assassin droid. Uh, well, let's give Juhani a shot. You speak the truth. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if the Sith search the ship. Yeah, let's do that. Until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. No, I think I think that's the best plan. So we'll try it your way, Juhani. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. All right, go ahead. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Well, somebody Grab can be invisible, so... The Admiral of this. <laughs> Karth, it has been far too long Back since to our we underwear, last spoke. Huh? I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. But it was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. You really think that's going to convince Karth to go on your side? And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath. As will you if you don't turn away from this path. Or even your if you do, are brave, you're Bastila, done. But the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. I'm all kinds of light side. You're wasting your time. I won't betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Hmm. Wow. Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you talking about? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. I'll say it whatever I want to put say. your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. <laughs> I don't really like him anyway. No, Karth's an alright guy. Um, I'm not begging this creep. It, it wouldn't do anything. Don't hurt him, I beg you. That just lets him know that his method is going to work. So I won't betray the Jedi, even to save Karth. And Karth would want it that way too. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well, this is the price of your resistance. Go for ah! it. Sorry, Karth. Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. I didn't doubt this you would do it. question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. No way. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. 
Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former master. Alright, we're gonna need to go to Dantooine. You will pay for this crime. But I do think he's lying and it isn't. I think he's lying and it isn't true, but I'm worried that if I say that, it's more like, a, No, you're lying! Like, I can't believe it! No. So, we're just gonna be cool and calm and vengeful. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Just wait. Now, we're tell get me you. your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? We've been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. Do you take me for a fool? Yes. The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No! Oh, the pain, the pain. Ah! Listen, can you not hear him I hear suffering? Him. You can spare him further pain by simply answering my questions. Nope. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? There. This accomplishes nothing. Perhaps another lesson is in order. Go ahead. I'm no, not changing uh, my mind. Uh, no! I beg you! Mercy! No! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Hang in there, guys. Juhani, time to make your move. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Karath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. <laughs> Don't you... This is what I'm honestly feeling. Don't you ever get tired of always being so preachy about the dark side and the dangers of it. But no one is without hope of redemption. I don't want him... I, I don't really care if he can be redeemed or not, though. I still don't let Karth take him out. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Maybe he was lying. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. Really? We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, and Ah, uh, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Well, where is he now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh... I have to confess something. There was a there was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. I won't hold that against you. <laughs> well, he would have tortured us no matter what I told him. But I am sorry. It was rough watching you suffer. No, I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you had no other choice. You couldn't betray our cause. That's right. I, I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. Watch you suffer like that, I... I might have cracked. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Yeah, let's get to that. I shall not be seen. Yeah. All right, Juhani, I think we need to level you up for this. Well, that took a while, but Juhani is all leveled up. Let's get in this elevator and save everybody. Oh my gosh, I need to equip her as well. Well, 
We'll do that when we find an enemy. So let's go to the cell block, please. Um, or is that where we are? Okay, yeah, so we need to head this away. All right, I just needed to not go to the elevator yet. Go get that guard, Johanny. We just have power attack and standard attack. No flurry, huh? Ah, that's all right. Um, he's standing still. How do you miss? Come on. There you go. Ooh, yeah, grab. Aha, we've got the key. Alright, let's save everybody first. I do want to check out all of this stuff, but. Is there even anyone in there? No. Who are you guys? Well, I'll free ya. Why not? I'm assuming you're good guys if the Sith have captured you. So don't attack me when I let you out. Really? Whatever. Ha! Oh, they're all insane. Ah! Well, still, disappointing. Ah! No! Ah! Ha! Ah! Ah! They're not really doing any damage, so ah! I'm not going to worry about it. Ah! 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 All right, Johanny, you got this. All right, anybody in here? No, this one's looking totally empty. All right, we'll give you a chance. That's right, I am not Sith. Help me out of this and let me help you. Sounds like a deal. Well, first, who are you? Evil Sith unjustly capture me and my ship. They think we're spies. They torture all the crew trying to get information, but they have not any information to give. The Sith don't care. They interrogate Captain until his mind snapped. Then they grab first mate, then navigator. All crazy now. Mine's got. Yeah, I saw that. I just killed all them. Sorry. So sad, but they're nothing but animals now. I'm the lowest rank on the ship, but now I'm the only one left. Soon Sith come to interrogate me, too. I don't know anything. Just, uh, trader in rare goods. <laughs> what do you mean by rare goods? Bring things to people in need. People who need things they can't get normally. So you're a smuggler. Such unnice language. Help people. People help me. People help me. I'll help you. Oops. I will see what I can do. Alright, it's too late for his crewmates, but you get me out, you escape before a Sith torture break mine. Fair enough. I'll help this fella. Even if he is a smuggler, he doesn't deserve to be destroyed by the Sith. This door is not going down. There we go. Ha! Come on, Johnny. You got this. Aha! He always knows good opportunity when he sees it. Here, you helped me, now he helps you. Here, take Icebreaker. I'll let you slice into computers on ship. Tune the breaker to work on the brig computers, so you use it on brig level, not work anywhere else. Remember, the breaker's only good for one use, so don't waste it. You go fight guards, you go and hide now, wait for chance to get to ship. Okay. Well, I definitely want to use that, but I think I should maybe wait until we've got the whole team together, and then we'll use it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down now. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll take Juhani through the rush of the chip. We'll find our team, and then we're going to go investigate the brig once we got everybody.